Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Daniel here with Capital Cards Productions. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And let's get into the video. So number one on our list is Donks. Don't really have to talk too much about this, but you guys, between me and you, I, I hate Donks. I don't know about you, but I hate Donks, guys. They are the worst thing ever. You take a car from the 90s, usually American, um, and you take big wheels with tiny width, you're probably like 105 in the rear and like 190s, like not so number two is straight pipes. So I actually don't mind straight pipes too much. Depends what car. If you take a KA20, run it open header, run it with a straight pipe, it's gonna sound bad, guys. You're gonna get bullied by the car community and you will deserve it because that's terrible. But if you have a 2JZ, a Supra or an LS3 Corvette, and you straight pipe it, it actually might not sound that bad. I just hope you have an active exhaust because you will get pulled over and have a lot of people complaining. So be ready to face the horde. Number three, massive camber. All right, just to get this out of the way, I'm not talking about drift camber, guys. Don't get mad at me and say, oh, well, camber's for drifting. Well, yeah, you're not drifting that front wheel drive Civic. Let me tell you that, buddy. And just, just chill, okay? Camber is useless. You're trying to get the camber to make like the stands, you know, like function over form, guys. We can't have our cars on the ground. And then when we take a turn at Laguna Seca, your whole car flips over because you're that close to the ground. That's why I think air suspension is really cool and that comes into play. I think that's awesome. But just let's, let's not do the camber, guys. Um, clear lights. So a lot of Civics do this, like 02, 99 Civics. And it's the clear taillights, guys. It, it looks pretty bad. Pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Don't like it. Don't know about you. I mean, some of the Lexuses come with it. And they, they build their cars like that. So they don't look terrible. I'm not a fan of them. They don't look terrible, though. But when you do that to, like, Civics, it's just like, ah, oh, Like, just don't do that, okay? Please, just, just keep it stock. Or black them out. You know, that never looks bad. Like, most cars look awesome blacked out. Fake tow hooks. Okay. Tow hooks are fake. Toe straps are actually, th those actually look cool. If you actually take your car to track days, autocross, you need tow hooks. Drift events, club loose drifting, you actually need tow hooks. But if you're putting on 3M tow hooks, that's just disgusting, okay? They look terrible, and I would never do that, okay? Next on our list is fake vents, okay? The new Supra does this, the new Civic Type R does this, and it looks terrible, okay? Please Stop making cars with fake vents system. Nobody wants it, okay? Nobody wants it, guys. Nobody wants that stuff. It's it's terrible, okay? Like, do what the Corvette did. The Corvette actually has functional vents. They go into the motor, cool off the brakes, and it looks pretty awesome, okay? But when you take cars and you put AutoZone vents on, it's like, you know, just bad, okay? Like, you know, just don't do that, okay? Next one is caliper covers. So you want everybody to think, oh, I got some cool Brembos, but I didn't pay $3,000. I paid $20 and got covers. So like I have one piston caliper under there, but nobody will see that. They'll all see those big eight piston calipers because that's what I decided to do. That's not cool. Nobody likes that, okay? When people ask you to stop, you're just gonna go flying because your brakes don't work properly because they're so small, okay? Just paint your calipers because then everybody can see that you have those tiny little one pistons and nobody's gonna get mad at the end of the day. It's all the same caliper, just paint it, okay? It's cool. Okay, and the last one on this list is big wings. Okay, I do not hate on big wings. Chill out for a second. Big wings on some cars look terrible. Take a small Miata, for instance, put a big wing on it. You have a recipe for ugliness. I know FRSs have a really nice chassis mounted wing. I'm not gonna lie, they don't look amazing unless you have a big rocket bunny and a twin turbo under the hood. I don't think it's gonna look awesome, guys. I think they look really, look really bad. They're a little bit too much unless Unless you're planning to eat dinner on it, then go ahead, by all means, go ahead and buy that wing so you can do that instead of having a dinner table. All right, you guys, that'll wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.